I'm a tank without a tank. And what's a tank without a tank? Nudity. <laughs> Is that why you're snickering? <laughs> hey guys! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I thought about... <laughs> I thought about that when I was looking in the mirror. <laughs> Welcome to part 11 of Donkey Kong Country. Dude, And Donkey sorry guys, there wasn't a video Dude, of this. Um, last week we were actually going to do a video with this, with the last part of... Um, Army Man Air Combat, but by the time we had that done, it was kind of late, and oh, I kind I forgot of forgot. Oh yeah, and this lovely guy is back, and he will yeah, tell you all why. Yeah, I've been gone for a week. My Wi-Fi has been out. Oh yeah, about Army Men R. Hmm? There is an Air Attack 2 on the PlayStation One as well as N64. Because I was going through, because I was sitting here without my Wi-Fi, I had nothing to do. I went through an old, I found an old demo disc I had of PS1 games. I like got just a bunch of demo for miscellaneous PS1 games. Mm -hmm. And an Army Man Air Attack 2 demo was on it. Huh. So, yeah, there totally, that totally is on the uh, PS2. We might be doing that soon, guys. But, um, PS1, I'd rather. So, last time we were on Elevator Antics, and then we took a attempt at Poison Pond. That's such a good song. So, this is yeah, where... Yeah, it is. So, that's what we're going heading to today. We'll be heading straight to Poison Pond. Oh, yeah. I already mentioned about this. My face being... Oh, I'd say my hair being cut. This... My mom did. This, I did. Yeah, I shaved all my sideburns up. Yeah, I gotta fucking cut my I don't wanna cut my hair, I just wanna straighten it real good. Cause it's been fucking tangled recently. Cause all... It's been hot and humid as hell as where we are, and our AC's fucked up, so all we have is fans and shit. So, like, my yeah. hair is all fucked. You know, I haven't had Wi-Fi in about a week. There is some issues with the bills and stuff. Got it taken care of now, though, and it shouldn't happen again. So, guys, let's but, go. Uh, yeah, that's where I was. Um, got, take, got everything taken care of today, so... Oh. And I just had my dinner, so we're... Yeah, I'm back, baby. So, what do you guys been up to today? I watched a bit of YouTube, and that's about it. We'll be doing a lot of that tonight because I missed a lot of shit while we're on. Um, yeah, I think I have 18 videos in my watch later list right now. I'm gonna be busy. Dang, but, man. Um, but, um, 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 Why did I not see that fish? I don't know. It's sort of green water. But yeah, I'm finally back. Hi, Squiddy. Finally here. Performing for you. There we go. If you know the words. You can join in too. Put your hands together and up your ass as we take you through the DK rap. DK Donkey Kong. DK <laughs> Donkey Kong's here. I love how I completely missed my my edit I made there. That again, I stole from Game Grumps. Well, technically, I stole from Grant Kirkhope, but whatever. Yeah, I picked up on it. I just decided to just just roll with it. <laughs> yeah, I'm back, bitches. I'm back, bitches. Oh god, God, I wish I had the original uh, voice. Crap. Stu same stupid fish. So yeah, all I've done today is just try to get caught up, like, play some uh, video games. I'm playing a lot of Tony Hawk 2, which is the oldest game I have. We should totally do a Tony Hawk game on here. We'll have to turn the music off, probably, but we should, yeah. we should totally do one. Oh god. Because the thing about Tony Hawk, like, they're amazing, but, like, licensed music, so YouTube's like you. Yeah, that's the same thing with, uh, Carmageddon 2, like, once we... 
do that. I that got that's full well, of we arms. Well, can the first songs. two Swiss of Hell games, no problem. Yeah. Because they just have uh, original soundtrack. We can do Black as well. Because there, there's only one licensed song in that. But other than the credits, the only time you're hearing is a hear it is a little bit in the of the opening of it when the game starts. <laughs> And we probably wouldn't get flagged for that, because if it's so short, we probably wouldn't get flagged for it. Yeah, and I'll probably skip that anyway. Yeah, um, it's uh, Painted Black or Rose, so that's a good song. Oh! And like, the opening, the opening bit plays when you start the game. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it is really cool. Dude, Bla just about Black's one of my favorites, like, that game's amazing. But, um... I've never played one or two, I like I started with three and four. And I yeah. mean Comigan 2 is a fantastic game. I mean I had the game for years and in fact I still got the original disc to this day. And I highly yeah, like the oldest game I still own. Highly it's recommend anyone to go and play that. That's probably my oldest game that I still have. And it's Press Care 2. But I still have my, uh, my uh, Twist Mount 4, and that would be the oldest, but like I don't have that no more. Go away, Squiddies. Don't hit me. Go away, Squiddies. Oh, God. Uh, you know what? Or, I love Squids to death. They're one of my favorite animals, but like. I hate dealing with squid enemies in certain games. You don't know what? Oh no, let me be more specific. I hate bloopers. You know, Mar Mario underwater levels, the squids fall you. Oh, the uh. Those motherfuckers that like this chase you and track you through the whole level and won't fucking go away. Uh huh. Like, cheap cheeps are fine, cause like, they just go in a set path, but like, the fucking bloopers follow you, and they're fucking hard to deal with. Oh god. Still nowhere near as bad as Lacketoos, though. God, I hate Lacketoos. <laughs> oh, those thing- those guys have f that fly on the clouds that throwing spike balls down at you? Yeah, those motherfuckers. Oh my god. I, Don't I get me started on those things. Yeah, don't get me started on those things. I think some more annoying areas. There's these like, there's this one enemy in Mario 3. It's like a um, it's like a brick with me. and like it looks like a regular brick, right? And it'll just be like laying among the other ones. Oh, and so it springs usually, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You can usually tell though. They have a tail because they're like their shading's different. They don't have like a shiny texture on them. They got sort of a different hue to them. So that's yeah, they got like them. more of like a dull or, or not really dull. They got more of like a matte color to them. They don't have any shiny. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, you just jump on them to kill them, but like they're just so annoying. Like when you get several of them jumping at once, it's really bad. There's actually one Mario enemy I like, and you guys would not believe what it is. It's not Goomba. Goomba. Is it? Goomba? Goomba. I don't know why, I actually like the Goombas. Yeah, Goombas are fine. I mean, like, they're about as basic as you can get, but I like them. Yeah. It's, I mean, they do, like, like they do they nothing. They can be a problem, but I love Goombas. I'm sorry, I fucking love Goombas. Oh god. Cute, cute little ghosties. I love them. I love them. Oh god. These are fucking horrible. Huh? Okay, what the hell? Ah, I should have went to the left. You should have made a left turn. I should have zigged when I. No, I zigged when I should have zagged. Yeah. I heard that reference so many times. Yeah, but like, dude. Ah! Shit, I haven't, I haven't played Mario forever. 
I might do that. I might play, like, uh, I got <laughs> games right now, I might get the Mario Land games and, uh, play through them. I played a bit through a bit of the first one. Yeah, yeah. Give me a second here, guys. I get the That save game is file. weird, but it's fun. Ah, stupid fish. Like, Super Mario Land on Game Boy, it is fucking weird, but it's fun. Oh, we got that game here. Yeah. I've loved the like, submarine like, level There's like a fucking spaceship level, there's a level with fucking Moai heads, there's a fucking China level. Yeah, the but there's weird. a level into, I believe, um... I believe it's a submarine level. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the submarine level. I love that. Though so the Mario Land games eventually turned into the Wario games, because after uh, Mario Land 2, when Wario was the bad guy, like Mario Land 3 was Wario Land 1, it's kept on the Wario games. Um, I've heard that like the first three are good, and I might go back and play those as well, because I've only played the fourth one on Game Boy Advance. Like, Wario Land 4 on Game Boy Advance, that's a damn good game. That game is fun. I love that game. It's weird, and the music is weird as fuck, and it's trippy as hell, but I love it. Huh? One thing I get to know, if you don't want nightmares, don't go into the sound test. Oh, okay. Because it's weird. Like, it doesn't even play music in the game. Like, it sort of does, but it plays, like, weird tracks. Like, there's one where it's just, like, digitized dogs barking. Huh? And the whole time, it's like there's this little screen that has little random images coming across. Hmm. Like there's one that's like a dude in a Wario costume dance, and there's one that's like a fucking Daruma doll with eyes like bulging out. There's like a weird dog thing with no <laughs> eyes. It's fucking trippy. What the hell? You wanna you wanna have a fucking bad trip? Get high and fucking play Wario Land 4 on the sound test mode. I'm just kidding, don't do drugs, kids. Uh, but yeah. It's, 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 an, it's, a, it's a weird thing. I don't know if the other games have that, but 4 does. Uh, it's a fun game, though. I just went straight face first to a squiddy. Another fun game is, uh, Wario, uh, Master of Disguise. Um, on DS. Which, I guess, that, that was, that's probably the equivalent of a new Wario Land game, because at that point it was just Wario Land, which is just weird mini-games. Which, honestly, that's probably where it came from, because, like, the fucking weird sound test shit and all the weird goofy shit in Wario Land 4, <sighs> I think that's probably part of the inspiration of why Wario just went to completely weird and wacky with the Wario Air games. What makes but, uh, sense? Wario World of GameCube, that's good. Yeah, the Wario games are good. Like, everyone talks about Mario, but the Wario games are actually pretty solid. What's over here? Uh, like, all the Wario I, Land games are supposed to be good. I've only played four, but I've heard the others are good, too. Stupid Tiger Shark. Wario World on GameCube is actually surprisingly good. Why is that so bad, then? Go away, awesome. Squiddy. Like... And you actually have a pretty cool new cell. You can fucking pile drive enemies and shit in that game. It's fun. Huh. Yeah, you can just do like spinning pile drivers and enemies. It, it's it's basically the closest thing you'll ever get to a Wario character action game. Hmm. It's good. Yeah, and then, like I kind of hate that they don't make any Wario. Like, it, yeah, Wario wears feet, but like, dude, the platformers were insane. Hmm. Those are some damn games. Ah! Oh my god, so many squiddies! Too many squiddies. Master of Disguise is really fun now, too. I need to get back to making like Wario games, man. Ugh. Okay. There's another series Nintendo needs to bring. I'm an idiot because I'm just sitting here talking about Nintendo. I have not looked up anything about the new Zelda, and that's all they fucking talked about at E3. Wow. I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna have even more shit. Like, 
not even counting the shit on my watch later. I still gotta look up all the new E3 shit I missed. Hmm. Because all I know is a few new Pokemon got announced. The Zygarde forums are going to be in, um... Sun and Moon. Took me a minute. And... Oh god. My brain is not working today, R. <laughs> um... <laughs> And like, Injustice 2 is coming out, and it looks cool. Oh god. They put Atrocitus in it, which is awesome, and his assist is that one evil Red Lantern cat, who I forget his fucking name. Huh. I know his fucking name, I know his story, uh, I saw a YouTube video about it, but I can't remember its fucking name. Okay. Wait, I think it was Dexter Darkstar or something. Hmm. Which, if so, that's awesome. I think that's his name. Okay, that's, that's honestly a pretty badass name, I'm not gonna lie. Well, you know the Red Lanterns, like, their whole gimmick is, like, their ring represents rage, so they're all, like, filled with rage and hatred. <sighs> there was actually a whole, um, there was a CG Green Lantern show a few years back, and it was actually pretty decent. Hmm. And, like, the whole first season was them fighting the Red Lanterns. Hmm. No, I'm wrong. Uh, what was the name of that Red Lantern cat? <laughs> oh, I think I was right. Okay. His name was Dex Star. That's what it was. That's what it was. Ah, stupid fish. The water is green and there's green fish in here and they're very hard to save. <sighs> and my mind is currently a bit elsewhere right now. I better not give the details. <laughs> oh, shush. Oh, cool. So you your thing all the right. Okay, I was I was gonna run straight to that fish. Ah! Oh yeah, it's got the old for every new lantern for. Why the freaking hell did I just do that? Yeah, his name is Dex Star. That's that's what I was thinking. Hmm. He's like an assist for Atrocitus. He's the main. Red Lantern bang got back out. You guys might be wondering why I'm just like reloading the save state instead of me just like going back in. I got more lives to I got more lives now than what I normally start with after I game over. So I got six lives here. Stupid fish. That's the fact that with their belly blends into the ground. That doesn't exactly help either. Makes them almost invisible. Okay, I'm not gonna- Okay, the fucking Red Lantern Oath is fucking metal as hell. With blood and rage of crimson red, ripped from a, a corpse so freshly dead, together with our hellish hate will burn you all, that is your fate. Whoa! Like, that's either the Red Lantern Oath or lyrics from a death metal song. That's <laughs> fucking awesome. I love it. I uh, great. What's he on that one? <laughs> Freaking squids! What the hell? Yeah, then there's uh, the orange lantern. It's not a one for green, and it just says mine. That's appropriate. What they the freaking seagulls from Finding Nemo? Mine, mine, mine. Basically, no, mine. like, dude, I hope, I hope the uh, Larvae who's the only orange lantern. I hope he gets in, because his, what his powering does is actually really cool. Is basically what the orange one does is any opponent that you've ever killed while with the ring you can summon is an avatar with them. Cool. So you can basically summon a ghost of any opponent you've ever killed with it. Hmm. 
Hmm, I think I remember reading about that in Scribble Nuts Unmasked. For the 3DS. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, you, there's... That was in that. Yeah, because, um... Every single DC character is in there. Well, currently, when that game was made... Yeah, at the time of its release, every yeah. DC character was in it, yeah. And, um... Now, I know Larflees was in it, so yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's a database where you can go to and tells you stuff about the item that you want to look up, whether it be an actual Jesus, item... Jesus, I would probably just spend all day in the database, honestly. That, um, yeah, whether it be an item that somebody uses, or whether it be a vehicle that a uh, character owns, like, say, the yeah, invisible really jet, cool. for preference. Yeah, for Wonder Woman! Mm-hmm. And there's... The database in that game is actually quite in-depth. I mean, there's a, um... You see, like, filters, there's even a search bar into it that you can use to look something up. That's cool, I like that kind of stuff. I like games that have tons of built-in lore. Like, where it be based on it, something, or its own thing, if the game has tons of lore, I love it. Like that, uh, Sonic RPG, like, there's tons. Like, you basically get, like, everything you want to know about the adventure games, and what happened in those, about chaos, about shadow, about everything. Up to that point, is it yeah. covered? Oh, I freaking hate that. Okay, like let's see. Page what... bios on every character you get. Like, it's great. Let's see what you want today, Cranky. It's hard to find peace and quiet anymore with you around. Oh, for God's sake. We used to have to survive. Damn it, Donkey! Where's my Viagra getting here? Two frame walk. Two frame walk. But sometimes our sprites used to change size with small batteries. <laughs> We never had any of this fancy 3D stuff. Though. Oh no, we only ha we had to survive what we got and what little we ha did have, we were happy with. Is he talking about like old Atari games? Well, well I, I never talking about Donkey Kong. See, talking about the Donkey Kong arcade game. Cause anything he like that? Is that Donkey? Good point. Enjoy this. Enjoy this demo where you can. It can't last much longer. You can find the fun and rumpy rampage between a rock and a hurt place. You kinda already told me that. No, dude, my that's my favorite that's one of my favorite things about DKC is that Cranky Kong is the original Donkey Kong. Uh, that's one of my things I've always loved about it. Okay, let's go and save here. Is you have the original Donkey Kong as an old man shit talking to you the whole game. I love it. So it's even better in DKC too. I'll you're I'm going to wait until we beat DKC2, because there's a special surprise at the end of that. You're going to watch. Alright guys, there's um, Poison Pond done. Next time we're going to be heading on to Minecart Madness. And I must warn you, I don't remember much about this level. <laughs> it's a minecart level, so we're probably going to die a lot. Fun! Oh god. Throw, so guys, throw a barrel at the like button if you guys enjoyed me. See you in the next one. Hey guys!